Hey everyone, Let's Lounge here. In this video, I want to demo the newest and biggest feature uh, to be introduced to Final Cut Pro in a long time, and that is motion tracking. Uh, I know you've probably seen a couple videos already on YouTube about this, uh, but I've been playing with it for a while and trying to see uh, some of the best ways to use this, and I think I found a pretty cool one right here at the demo with you. Uh, so uh, if you haven't seen uh, this feature, basically it's motion tracking where before you would be able to have to have a bunch of plugins to download from third party places uh, to allow you to motion track a subject um, in your video to maybe apply to text to make your text look like it's kind of environmental and it's moving with a subject or something along those lines. Um, it, it's a really, really cool feature. And again, you would have to use plugins or you'd have to do manual tracking with keyframes. Uh, but this feature is uh, just recently added to Final Cut Pro 10.6 uh, and it's very overdue. Uh, it's It's been needing to be built into Final Cut Pro for a long time and I'm finally glad they actually did it. So in Final Cut Pro, uh, it, this is the Final Cut Pro 10.6 version you can see right here. Uh, so if you haven't down, downloaded and upgraded to 10.6, uh, I would suggest you go ahead and do that because this feature won't be available until you do. Uh, one little caveat though, you will have to upgrade your operating system. So you'll have to upgrade to uh, Big Sur, which is the, the newest operating system. So I had to do that to get this feature. Uh, so let's go and roll into it. I have this cool clip right here of this lady uh, kind of jogging here. And I want want to track uh, uh, like a statistic that can kind of go along with her running. So I have this cool little title here uh, that's like a animated uh, kind of animated title and I want to kind of apply that to her as she's running. So it's kind of a cool little feature. I can also add a bunch of bunch of different titles if I want to. Um, but uh, I want to add that to her running here. So to motion track her, all I need to do is click on the clip that you want to motion track. And over here in your video inspector, when you scroll down all the way to the bottom, you're going to see a little section that says trackers. And you're going to click the plus button here. This will give you a grid that will allow you to place over anything in the video that you want to track. So since I'm going to put the graphic over in this area, kind of right next to her head, I'm actually going to track her lips in this, uh, in this video. Uh, that way they're always in frame and they're kind of in that same general area and it's a, uh, a very good object to track. So if I want to make sure I'm tracking it good, I can zoom in here a little bit and place it right over her lips, kind of get tight in there. So roughly right around there is good. So now I'm going to click done. I'm going to go to fit here to make sure it fits there. Click on our clip. And you can see that we don't—we kind of lost our grid. Uh, this sometimes happens when you're clicking around and zooming in. So just go back down to your video inspector and click on this little uh, kind of box icon here. Click there and you can see where your motion tracker is. So now the coolest part about this that I think uh, is just clicking the analyze button. But watch what happens. It's going to analyze your clip from where your playhead is. So it's going to clip, uh, start analyzing from this point forward and go here which is great, but we still have this back piece of the clip. What we'll, it will do is automatically track this area here and then automatically go back in reverse and make sure it gets the whole, tri uh, the whole clip tracked. So again, I'm gonna click Analyze and you're seeing this in real time. You can see it tracking her lips, that green box there, this is all done in real time. Uh, it might be going a tad bit slow because I am doing a screen record and I do have a couple apps open. Uh, so th this is again real time. This would take a lot longer, honestly, than uh, than uh, s s you know some of the other plugins that I have. Uh, th they would take forever to do this. Uh, so again, see it goes uh, it goes in tracks backwards as well. So I really love that because I always forget to put my playhead in the beginning of the clip and then track from there. This is a much, much easier way uh, of doing this. So uh, our, our, our clip is pretty much tracked. You can see as we scroll through, we scrub here, it's tracking her lips and it's doing a pretty good job and uh, it's gonna work out really well. So now the beauty of this is now we can pretty much apply anything to our clip that we want to uh, you know, kind of be in there and uh, we don't have to worry about tracking uh, tens of different things, uh, 10 different buttons or anything like that to include. So I'm just going to drag this down here. Uh, I'm going to make it last almost the whole clip. So right around there. So I'm going to go over here and get rid of the background just using a blending mode to make it easy. So right there. And we have our clip right here. And let's just change some things. 
Um, I'm not sure what we're wanting to change. We can take some of this stuff off we don't need. Uh, so I think that's fine. I don't like this little menu thing here, but uh, we can actually just use a quick, uh, a quick mask to get rid of it. So I'm going to do a shape mask over top of there and boom we just got rid of it very simple very easy and now what we can do is click on our clip go to transform the little transform uh, button here click on here go to transform and you can see we have a section that says tracker right next to it uh, so now we're going to click the drop down box and the object track is kind of the default name that it gives to um, to any of the trackers. So this is the object track. If you wanted to create a new tracker, you could, uh, but we already have one done. So we're going to click object track and click done here. So now if we were to play this, uh, it's going to track. You can see it's tracking over top of her. We don't want to do that. We want it to go kind of off to the side here. So we're going to do a transform here, go over here and put it in this, this little corner here, maybe right a little bit closer to her head, right around there. So there we go. And now let's go ahead and play our clip. So she's running, she's running, and then we have our graphic pop up and you can see how it runs with her. Very cool. It was very simple to do that. Very, very easy. We would have had to do a bunch of different stuff with different plugins to get that to happen. Uh, and uh, it was very easy to make that happen. So again, uh, just let's play it one more time so you can see how it works. You can see it's jumping up and down with her, running, running, running. Very smooth, very easy. So that's pretty much it. It's very, very easy to do. Again, you can do this with anything that is pretty much able to be dragged into uh, to, to Final Cut titles, shapes, uh, PNGs that you import into Final, Final Cut Pro. You can do this with everything and it, it works very, very easy, very simple. Uh, and I'm so happy they introduced this into Final Cut Pro. So thank you guys for joining me in this tutorial. Uh, head on over to LUTZLounge.com. More tutorials over there, more LUTZ, uh, more uh, products we got coming uh, on a daily basis over there. So thank you guys for joining me in this video and I'll see you in the next one.